Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be filming a little get ready with me chit chat plus a little Q&A. I ask if you guys have any questions on my Instagram. That's usually where I ask if you guys have questions. So, so I got some new makeup products, which is kind of rare. So I'll talk about those a little bit. I'm just doing an everyday look and we'll just get chatting. So here we go. So I did want to give a couple updates of what's been going on. So one of them, I got my nose actually pierced. I wore a fake septum. It's a little gold one that you just boop right in your nose. I got off Etsy for several months, probably since April maybe. And I finally decided to get a real one. So I have to wear this silver one for eight to 12 weeks and then I can switch it out for a little uh, rose gold one again. But yeah, kind of fun. Also, my skin is kind of freaking out due for that time of the month. It's whatever, kind of annoying, but oh well, what can you do? And then the third thing, is that me and my friend Nicole started a, another YouTube channel. Nicole is also vegan. We've been friends since high school, so we decided to make a fun channel on all things vegan. And so far, we've only posted one video. It will be up by the time this video is up. So you can go check it out if you want to. We did the spicy noodle challenge. So I'm excited for what's to come. Nicole, her nickname is Nips. That's what I call her. And she's just so fun. So I think we'll make a lot of fun videos together. So feel free to check that out. Anyway, getting started with the makeup. I always start with sunscreen and this one is vegan and cruelty free. I'm pretty sure. It's the Elta MD UV Clear. The UV clear one is supposedly good for acne prone skin. I haven't always had acne problems. I noticed, started to notice more acne breakouts about seven, eight months after I came off of birth control. But you know, I would rather have acne than the side effects I dealt with on hormonal birth control. So I just get that all over, kind of done my neck. And that's that. I'm gonna start with the first question. So first question from my Instagram was tips for starting a YouTube channel. So I started my YouTube channel in 2017, I think. And the thing that held me back the most was like fear maybe of what others think or my videos not being good enough. So my biggest tip for starting a YouTube channel is to do it afraid because you're probably going to be scared and just do it anyway. Think about all the good things that are coming with it and how excited you are to start rather than what anybody's gonna think. If you wanna know how, like the technical stuff to starting a YouTube channel, I literally just YouTubed everything. How to do this, how to do that. And you can just film videos on your phone. You don't need like super nice equipment when you're first starting out. I filmed a, f uh, a couple of my first videos just off my iPhone. And if you go back, to some of my first videos, you can tell that I'm so much more awkward talking on the camera than I am now. That's another thing is just make a video and post it. Like if you just need to get over that first hurdle, because at least in my opinion, I don't think you're ever going to feel 100% confident and totally like love your very first YouTube video. So you just, just do it afraid, just go for it. Don't let fear stop you. I think that's my biggest tip. Um, I just used this foundation by The Ordinary. I don't love it, but that's what I have right now, so. Okay, now I'm gonna put on my Tarte Shape Tape. This is my last, get ready with me, I love this stuff. Next question, favorite high protein snack that isn't a protein bar or a protein shake? So I had to think about this one for a minute. I don't eat tons of snacks because I mainly just eat a bunch of meals, but I did think about this. So I'm gonna name a couple. Um, pumpkin seeds, I really like. That one's quick and easy, you can grab it, take it anywhere, and it's pretty high in protein. Hummus and veggies. That's a healthy one that's pretty. The hummus is fairly high in protein. One that's a little more fun is like popcorn. So just fresh, plain popcorn with a tiny bit of coconut oil drizzled on top. And then what I put on top of that is nutritional yeast, which I get on Amazon or at health food stores. And nutritional yeast actually has quite a bit of protein as well. Another one is, I think I've talked about this before, is like tofurkey deli slices. So it's like a vegan turkey slice. And what I'll do is put mustard on the middle and like roll it up like a little turkey roll up, eat it. That one was really nice on prep because it's high, really high in protein and it's still pretty good. But I do still love like protein shakes and protein bars. My favorite protein bar right now is called No Cow. I don't know, I just like that one a lot. I'll put a picture of it on the screen so you can see it. I'm not like the super duper knowledgeable best at makeup. So I just kind of do my own thing. And sorry if it's a little dark. I have the window here and the mirror here. And if I sat right in front of the window and used the mirror, I think there wouldn't be enough space for the camera to be in between. Just doing my best. Someone asked, what's your last resort motivator? I was trying to think about this one. I feel like 
if I really don't want to go to the gym or don't want to do something that I know is good for me I usually think about how I'm going to feel after in terms of like being proud of myself for practicing discipline and going even when I don't feel like it I just think about if I don't go I'm not gonna feel very proud of myself but if I do go I'm gonna feel great after I'm gonna get those endorphins another one that's like not as deep that's just kind of a surface motivator is caffeine <laughs> So when you drink coffee or take pre-workout. When it comes to working, other than like the gym, getting out of the house is a big motivator for me. So being able to go to like a coffee shop or something helps me stay motivated. Hopefully that is a good enough answer. Next question, what are your go-to outfits for any workout? And I'm gonna do some bronzer next. With this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, I actually really like this. Okay, so my go-to outfits for workouts. Um, well, if you watched my last video, you know I'm now an athlete with Lakai activewear so i've been wearing a lot of their clothes lately and i really love them so brands i really like is lakai i like gymshark most of my stuff from them i don't have tons of activewear maybe i do maybe that's like in my own head i don't think i have tons of activewear but yeah but as far as what outfit to choose i just kind of like go with what i'm feeling that day or if it's super hot outside, I'll wear shorts. I just got some new shorts from Lakai that are my favorite workout shorts I've ever had. I'll pop a picture on the screen. They're called the Athena shorts. They're so flattering and so cute. And when it is so hot in the summer, I don't want to put leggings on. It's just like blazing hot outside. So I'll do shorts and a sports bra in the heat. And, and mostly all the workouts I do is just weightlifting, upper body, lower body. So it doesn't change too much. But I'm gonna do my eyebrows. NYX pencil, it's like $7 or something like that. So we love that. Okay, next question is, are you using FAM for birth control or just DAISY? Okay, so if you don't know what FAM is, it stands for Fertility Awareness Method. And if you've watched my videos or know about the DAISY, so I've been using the DAISY device in replacement of birth control is like a pregnancy prevention tool for three years. This month marks three years that I've been using it. So the daisy just takes your temperature, but the fertility awareness method, you take into consideration your temperature, so your waking temperature, basal body, and as well as your cervical fluid and your cervical position. So I actually was using the just the daisy, just the temperature method up until like a month or two ago. I decided to start tracking the other two signs of fertility. So cervical position, cervical fluid, which I'm thinking about making a three year daisy update video, but I feel like I've already made so many videos about it that I don't know what else, what else there is to say. <laughs> but let me know if you would want to see a video, like a three year update or if you have any more questions. But yeah, so right now I've just started using the fertility awareness method. There's little spots in the daisy app that you can put in cervical fluid or make little notes so i'm just kind of experimenting with that and getting better at it because i do know that tracking all three fertility signs is more effective than just tracking your temperature so to make the method more effective i think it is very very beneficial to track those other signs so yes yes i am doing fam but still getting comfortable with it still getting consistent with it there's my eyebrows Okay, I think I'm gonna move on to eyeliner, which this is a new product I'm trying. I recently got sent an eyeliner by Chroma Makeup Studio, and it's one I hadn't used before. It's like the little gel liner with the brush. I usually use like a felt tip eyeliner, so this is like a new thing for me. I've used it a couple times, so we'll see how today goes. This one is called Blackout Indelible Gel Liner. I do winged eyeliner quite often, and I still get nervous every time I do it, so. You know, you just make mistakes sometimes. So I just get it on the little brush, kind of get the excess off the sides. We'll see if I can even do this in the camera. I might have to look in the mirror. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look in the mirror. Okay, maybe you can see now. So I'll kind of start on my eyelid and come across this way. So I watched a makeup tutorial by a YouTuber called Cozy Kitsune, and she does her eyeliner only from the end of her eye, like, kind of to the middle, and it makes her eyes look like doe-eyed, kind of like a cat eye. Maybe I'm thinking doe-eye, but it's really cute. So I kind of do my eyeliner like that now. Okay, so once I kind of have it on the eye, just from the end into the middle, is when I'll start to make the wing. So I just go from the corner of my eye and kind of like, whoop, drag up like that. Kind of like that. And then I'll come back in and connect.
That's what it looks like so far. I feel like my eyeliner most of the time doesn't look perfect. It's like not perfectly even. There's, you know, kind of, but once I get all my makeup on and put my eyelashes on, I feel like you can't really tell anyway and it's good enough for me. So I think I say that in every video. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's like the thing where they're sisters, not twins, so they don't have to be perfectly even. Back to the question about activewear as well. So now that I have a bunch of stuff from Lakai, I am actually going to film a haul for my next video. So stay tuned for that. I think hauls are kind of fun. I like watching them, so hopefully you guys do too. I think I got it. I think I finished. I think I like this side better than that side, but they're like... Nobody's gonna look that close, I don't think, so it's fine. Chroma also sent me a felt tip liner, which is what I'm more used to, just a black felt tip liner. Sometimes if I mess up with the gel one, I'll do little touch-ups with the felt tip. Almost forgot as well. If you want to look on Chroma's website, try out these liners or anything else, I do have a code. It's Ellie15 for 15% off. So check it out if you'd like. I'll link it down below. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Hey guys, so as I'm filming this, it is beginning of August, which in my mind, that starts to feel like fall. And if you know me, you know I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. You know I'm obsessed with fall. So I'm wondering, are you guys summer people or fall people? Or neither, are you something else altogether? Okay, I'm gonna put some blush on. This one's by MAC, it's just so old and I still have it. Okay, now it's time for the lashes. I've talked about this before too. I use the Ardell Wispies, I buy them at Target. And then I use this glue I got at Sally's. It's actually a hair glue, but use it for eyelashes. And I think I've talked about this multiple times because I've been doing this same thing for a couple of years. But now I've trimmed down the lashes a little bit farther. So I think I trimmed down the longer end so that they'll sit just on like the middle to ends of my eyes. I like the dough eye look, I think it's really cute. So how I do this is I get the glue and a little Bully brush, stick the end of it in the glue, just like that. And I'll put it on the end of the lash and I'll just stick it right on my eye. I'm gonna need the mirror. I feel like I have a lot of practice putting on fake eyelashes from growing up in dance. So just practice, okay, if you're afraid of it. If you feel like you're not good at it, just keep, keep trying, girl. And it's nice to use the tweezers to get the corners to stay down. That's one side. I just think it's so cute. It's like everything's on the end. I'm like a little deer. Okay, other side. My skin's looking so dry. So like I said, off topic, I'm about to start my time of the month and I got sent this device called Ovira that's supposed to help with cramps. So I'm gonna do a whole review on it. So stay tuned for that as well. I haven't done like women's products or period product reviews in a while. And I just think they're so fun. So I'm glad I have another thing to test out for you guys and try. Really excited about that. Okay, so the eyes are done. I'm going to do some highlight. It's probably my favorite part. Right now I'm using the Butter Highlighter again by Physicians Formula. I really like Physicians Formula because all their products are nice, they smell good. They're at the drugstore. Wait, well I would get them at Ulta, but they're like, more drugstore prices and they're just cute and vegan friendly and all that so with this i put it on the tip of my nose my is that cupid's bow yeah my cupid's bow my forehead and then my cheekbones and then a little bit on my bridge of my nose as well that's it okay let's put on some mascara again this one's so old so it's not vegan or cruelty free but it's old as the hills of funny i go through makeup actually quite slowly i like having my makeup on but sometimes i can't be bothered to do it i feel like it's just time consuming but it is fun once it's on we're on the last part of makeup we're gonna do some lips i'm gonna start with this dose of color lip stain in the shade stone i will also try to link all these products i'm using down below in case you want to wear the same makeup as me again not a makeup professional expert. I do like this color a lot though. My sister is a makeup professional. I made a girls day video with her last vlogmas. No, the vlogmas before maybe, maybe it's been a while, but she's good at makeup. <laughs> I'm like talking, trying to put lipstick on. So that is where I get a lot of my makeup from or makeup ideas or tips and things. And we're gonna make a fun fall video together. I'm excited for all of the fall adventures. So I'm gonna do like a fun day with her. And then once that's a little more dry, I'm going to put this gloss on top. This one is again by Chroma. It is the Lip 
patina, patina. I'm not sure how to say it, but it's cute. It's just like kind of glossy and glittery. Okay, that is it for makeup. I'm gonna do my hair real quick. Also, look at my cute shirt. Los Angeles, California, so cute. I actually got this at a thrift store by our house. I've been really into thrifting lately. I used to hate it because it does take some effort of like going through a lot of junk to find the good stuff. <laughs> and I was impatient, kind of lazy with it, but now I'm having a lot of fun with it. Okay, so for my hair, I'm, well, it's actually clean, so maybe I shouldn't put it up. I was going to slick it back in a ponytail. I'm gonna slick it back still. I don't know, I just constantly feel like talking about fall now, just in the last few days. I know it's like super basic, I guess they call it, to love fall, but I don't care. I'm so in love with it, I just love everything about it. And now that it's August, it's just getting so close that I can't contain myself. I don't know, I'm just so excited. This is like such a simple hairstyle, but I really like the slicked back look. Okay, that is it. We gotta do a fun little montage. Here we go. Alright guys, that is it for the get ready with me. Let me know if you have any questions about my products. Also don't forget to check out Chroma and use code LE15 to save 15% off your purchase. But that's it for today. Let me know if you have any further questions too about the questions I did answer. Anyways, I love you guys. Stay tuned for fun fall videos coming, fun period videos, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.